renowned for adorning the heads of royalty, aristocrats, and celebrities alike, Cartier's tiaras have long captured the imagination with their exquisite beauty and historical significance. From royal weddings to glittering galas, these tiaras have graced some of the most iconic moments in history, leaving an indelible mark on the world of luxury and fashion. So let's explore the most famous Cartier tiaras. Before we start, please support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons. And if you wish to support me financially, you can do it via the super thanks button on YouTube or become my patron on Patreon. Link is in the description. Citrine Tiara. King George VI's coronation in 1937 provided a grand opportunity to showcase one's jewels in all their glory. Among the esteemed jewelers entrusted with crafting exquisite adornments for the event, Cartier stood out, tasked with the creation of 27 magnificent tiaras for distinguished guests. One such masterpiece, the Citrine Tiara, epitomizes the era with its elegant settings and the harmonious blend of colored gemstones and dazzling diamonds. This bandeau features citrines and diamonds arranged in a sleek, geometric style characteristic of the Art Deco period. At its core lies a striking 62.35-carat emerald-cut octagonal citrine, complemented by radiant diamonds and precisely cut baguette citrines. Notably versatile, the central element can be detached and worn independently as a stunning clip, adding versatility to its already breathtaking allure. Cartier Halo Tiara This tiara may be modest in size, but its significance within the British royal family is undeniable. Crafted by Cartier in 1936, it holds a special place in history as an anniversary present from King George VI to his beloved wife, Elizabeth. In 1944, Queen Elizabeth passed on the tiara to her daughter, Queen Elizabeth II, marking her 18th birthday with this precious heirloom. Despite its royal lineage, Queen Elizabeth II opted not to wear the tiara publicly, often lending it instead to her younger sister, Princess Margaret. Subsequently, Princess Anne adorned the tiara for a time before it found its way into the royal vault, where it remained unseen for years. However, the tiara re-emerged into the limelight with the arrival of Kate Middleton at Westminster Abbey for her royal wedding in 2011. Her selection of this tiara as her bridal adornment served as a poignant nod to tradition, echoing the style and preferences of the late Queen Mother. The Cartier Loop Tiara Despite enduring significant turmoil over the past century, the Bourbons of Spain have successfully preserved a remarkable collection of heirloom tiaras. Among these treasures is the Cartier Loop Tiara, crafted from dazzling diamonds and lustrous pearls set in platinum. Originally commissioned for the 19th century Spanish Queen Maria Cristina, whose lineage traces back to the esteemed Habsburg dynasty. One of the most prominent wearers of this tiara was Queen Sophia of Spain, who adorned it frequently throughout her reign. Now, the tiara has passed into the possession of Queen Letizia, who unveiled it to the public for the first time at the prestigious Chinese state banquet held in Madrid in November 2018. The Bonaparte Olive Wreath Tiara A masterpiece of Cartier craftsmanship, the diamond olive wreath Tiara boasts 11 magnificent cushion-shaped diamonds that offer the flexibility of being interchanged with emeralds and rubies. Its centerpiece, a resplendent pear-shaped diamond initially designed for Princess Marie Bonaparte's wedding, can be replaced with a stunning diamond star providing a plethora of customizable arrangements. 
Originally commissioned for Princess Marie Bonaparte, a great crown niece of Napoleon Bonaparte, the tiara epitomized elegance and luxury. Following Princess Marie's passing in 1962, the tiara became the cherished possession of her sole daughter, Princess Eugenie of Greece. In 1999, the Cartier olive wreath tiara, albeit missing its central diamond and the emeralds and rubies, found a new home when it was acquired by the Albion Art Institute. Tiara of Duchess of Roxburghus. Crafted during the Radiant Art Deco era, this stunning tiara was brought into existence by Cartier in the 1930s, marking a significant moment in the marriage of Lady Mary to the 9th Duke of Roxburgh. Lady Mary, born in 1915, boasted a distinguished lineage as the daughter of the first Marquess of Crewe. This tiara, a true work of art, showcases a mesmerizing geometric design embellished with circular cut diamonds that elegantly ascend to a captivating array of 31 collet set diamonds. Noteworthy for its versatility, the central element of the tiara can be detached, transforming into a graceful clip brooch. Originally estimated to fetch between approximately $300,000 to $550,000, the tiara exceeded all expectations at auction, ultimately commanding an astounding $2.5 million. Queen Inna's Pearl and Diamond Tiara The tiara, bestowed upon Queen Inna of Spain in 1906 as a wedding gift from her new mother-in-law, Queen Maria Cristina of Spain, originally hailed from the workshops of Anne Serena. Despite its origins, the tiara failed to capture Queen Inna's affection, prompting her to envision a transformation for the piece. In the 1920s, Queen Anna entrusted Cartier with the task of dismantling the original sparkler and fashioning it into a new creation. The resulting Cartier rendition of the tiara features dazzling diamonds meticulously set in platinum, with eight exquisite pearls adorning the center of each intricate scrolling diamond motif, reminiscent of coiling laurel sprakes. Over the years, the tiara found itself in the possession of Queen Sophia, who graciously lent it to her daughter, Infanta Cristina, on occasion. In a historic moment, Queen Letizia adorned Queen Anna's pearl and diamond tiara. In April 2018, during a state dinner hosted by Spain in honor of their Portuguese neighbors, marking the first public appearance of the tiara in its new iteration. Belgian Cartier Bandeau. In 1912, Elizabeth, already reigning as Queen of Belgium, acquired this illustrious tiara from Cartier. Worn in the fashionable bandeau style of the time, the tiara is adorned with diamonds meticulously set in platinum. Some have dubbed it a foliated tiara, aptly capturing the leaf motifs interspersed among the dominant scrolling elements. Throughout her reign, Elizabeth often chose this tiara for significant public events in Belgium, including the religious wedding of her son, Crown Prince Leopold, to Princess Astrid of Sweden in 1926. During the 1980s, the tiara found its way back to Cartier. Today, it resides within the archives of Cartier, frequently showcased in exhibitions. While it may no longer grace the heads of Belgium's royal ladies, enthusiasts have the opportunity to admire its splendor in person. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons.